Hey everyone, this is a redo for my old other video that I just made, but I didn't upload it because I forgot to insert my microphone, and I was basically talking to nothing, and uh, yeah, I'm going to start over again like an idiot. So, hey guys, uh, I wanted to make a video about, uh, about uh, what is it, customizing your logon screen. If you don't know what your logon screen is, go ahead and turn off your computer and turn it back on, and when it asks you for a password, that's your logon screen. So... What I can show you guys is how to change the background of your logon screen by using this simple program called Logon Studio Vista. It's completely free, and uh, it also works for XP too, which I found out, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is Stardock Logon Studio Vista. What you can do, you can load, download, create, upload, or about. So if you click load, it will basically ask for a logon package or just a file called .logon Vista or .logon XP. And uh, all you do is just go to their website. It's, just, it's at download. It'll, when you press download, it'll basically go to the website, and you can uh, download their themes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, well, I I rarely go to that website because it's just usually a bunch of nothing, nothing interesting. Or click create, you make your own logon. So I'm gonna press a minus test two, and uh, browse something found uh, lights or something press open save okay so as you can see uh, it's test 2 is right here so once you click if you really like this picture to be your logon screen just click uh, click the picture go down to apply and click apply I'm not gonna click it now because it'll lock my computer and it'll basically make uh, logon st uh, camp studio black and you can't see anything so there's actually really no point in doing it so uh, you you can also uh, go back to your old Vista logon screen if you're a Vista user. This is what it looked like. You know, it's kind of boring, and uh, you want something else easy on your eyes. Just like pick anything else. You can either you can also like create and press browse and look for uh, pictures of your family. And I mean, what's wrong with your family? I mean, your family's you know nice to look at, I guess. But it's a lot better than uh, Windows Studio default. It's just you know, a little rough on your eyes when during a hard night or something like that. Is like put pictures of your family and you yeah, can enter in your password and it's just really nice and customizable. It makes your computer personal. So sorry for ranting for a little bit. So uh, by default, uh, these pictures are here: dark avatar, my colors blue, stuff like that. And object desktop is basically in uh, default for uh, Logon Studio Vista. But the one I use is uh, this picture for InterfaceLift.com. <coughs> sorry. So I use interfacelift.com uh, to get all my pictures. So as you can see, this is my current logon. It has the American flag on the Empire State Building. So once you click it and log out, press log, uh, you will see uh, this picture with my name and my uh, face, my picture, and my enter your password thing. So uh, that's basically it. And uh, if you guys are wondering where I got my picture, I'm sure again that I, I got it from uh, logon. Now I get it from interface lift. Uh, hold on. Get that interfacelift.com. This is the website where I get all my uh, my wallpaper and stuff like that. Because basically, Interface Lift is just a bunch is a community of uh, professional photographers and professional Photoshop users. If it ever loads, okay, it should load. So as you can see, uh, basically, it sorts out all these pictures, and stuff like that. It gives you a little preview of it down here, and. Uh, from professional photography to professional Photoshop users, a whole bunch of stuff like that. So if you want to click to a little bit more detailed stuff, like see the picture with the most downloads, see the picture with the most, the highest rating, the picture with the most comments, I can click that. Most of the time, I just press, uh, I press random and just uh, save it on my computer as a logon screen or either a uh, background for my computer. So driftwood. So this is uh the most uh, was commented so I'm gonna click uh, let's say you really want this picture so I'm gonna click select resolution mine's uh, 1280 by 800 and uh, I'm just gonna press download so once you press download it will load up these picture and uh, you can either uh, wait wait for it to load first of all right click you can copy the image but what I usually do is save the image if you want it as a background screen I mean a log on screen you want to uh, click save image save it to a file basically and put it in logon studio vista and you'll use it you can use it as a logon screen which is a pretty nice logon screen actually
it's not that bad and uh, you can also press save as a desktop background I'm pretty sure everyone knows this and just set as desktop background I, I just did that right now and um, that's basically it so that's interfacelift.com you can use it as your background your wallpaper or your logon screen or anything else you want and uh, that's basically it if you guys need any help in anything uh, just comment me don't hesitate uh, I'll be there and message me if you want and uh, if you guys like my videos please rate it if you guys don't go ahead and rate it if you want but anyway I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time so uh, I'm just gonna close out now and uh, see you later <laughs>